A Cornell doctoral candidate has invented a way to trap carbon dioxide on its way out of factories. WNY's Kurt Martone has how this filter could limit carbon monoxide emissions. Mary Zick, a PhD candidate at Cornell University, along with assistant professor of chemistry and chemical biology Philip Milner, invented a device that can trap carbon dioxide, a chemical that gets emitted from factories and other types of production plants before they enter the Earth's atmosphere. You would expose the material to a stream of CO2 containing gas that kind of pulls the CO2 out. You let the, the CO2 free gas you know, be released into the atmosphere, for example. And then later you, uh, you remove the CO2 from the material to reactivate it. And then this you can now take and either sequester it underground or, or use it for chemistry. And soon her invention will be tried on these smokestacks just behind me at Cornell University's power plant. We're looking to do some more tinkering because it is not yet a perfect material. Um, so we're working on trying to optimize it. Right now it's a very good starting ground. But there's always improvements to make. Scientists are working a way to make it higher capacity or looking to pick a more stable material. The idea could very well work. In the 1990s, scientists were able to isolate and stop the emission of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere from coal plants. The bigger picture of what Mary's work represents is uh, if we can really tune these materials to have different properties for different kinds of streams, you could move beyond just what's called post-combustion CO2 capture, what we're talking about right now, and think about removing carbon dioxide from other sources. Right now, project leaders are looking at ways to remove carbon dioxide from other processes like steel and cement manufacturing and biogas. Reporting in Ithaca, Kurt Martone, WENY News.